Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light and in the highest positive energy always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energy and intent immediately and prominently. I call in on it the purest of white light. Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak. Or evil, negative, and malicious plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones are dismantled or being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. <coughs> Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into this read. We have the world card out here. So you could be closing a chapter, finishing some type of chapter. Something in your life is coming to an end, which is absolutely a okay. You could have been going through some type of tumultuous time, and this is coming to an end. You're about to be stepping into abundance because you choose to live in your truth. You are laying down the law. You've made some type of decision to keep moving forward in life, which is absolutely a beautiful thing. And we are commending you for that. Absolutely, you're committed to your work. You are solid as can be, solid as a rock. You're very devoted to moving forward to your path, to perfecting your craft, to perfecting whatever it is that matters to you that you cherish, right? It could just be you healing, you just, you know, being the best version of yourself. Whatever it is, you are still moving forward. You have committed yourself to your destiny and you are being applauded for that by the cosmos, just so you know. Absolutely. You are recovering, going through some type of healing. This has to do with your finances. Your finances are being restored. So you could have experienced some type of tumultuous time here, as I mentioned before, and it is being restored. Whatever was stolen from you, whatever was taken from you, whatever was being blocked, whatever was being tampered with, it's being returned to you. It is being restored, okay? And their plan for the universe is to restore you right in front of the eyes of your enemies. Everyone that was trying to block you, stop you, whatever it is they were trying to do, you will be restored in the midst of your enemy. The enemies, the universe is preparing a table for you right in the presence of your enemies. You will not be returning to the past. Someone has been trying to either get you sick, out of character, paint you in some type of light. You will not be painted in that light, okay? Whatever someone is... I don't know if this is someone from your past that wants to reconnect with you. Someone has fond memories of you and things like that. Someone from your past may be ill, going through some type of loss. This could be karma being balanced out. Whatever it is, this has nothing to do with you collective. You're moving forward. You don't have any fond memories of the past. The past could be watching you and wanting to reach out like, hey, it's me. I'm here. Your past, remember me? I want to talk to you. And you're like, uh, do you guys hear anything? And you're probably like, no, uh, no, no one hears anything. You're moving forward. You committed yourself to your growth. Um, excuse me, my car fell. You committed yourself to your growth. Why is someone committed to some other path, other direction? They may have chosen something or someone else over you. It didn't work out. Now they want to return, but you have clarity about this person this does not have to be a lover this could be like a best friend this could be something that has to do with an institution they betray you in some way shape or form they thought you didn't know the truth but you have absolute clarity about the situation and you're moving forward they also have clarity about this situation someone from your past has clarity now they're, not, they're no longer blind about what was going on. They could have been deceived about something that has to do with you, but they've been giving clarity. They may want to restore a connection with you. I don't know if you're being advised to do that. I'm so someone that's forward moving, so I always encourage people on my platform to forgive and be forward moving, right? Wish the past well but move on to the future, okay? So your past has clarity now. Maybe this is people from your past, not just one person. They are understanding the situation and why certain things happen. You could have left a position and someone is starting to understand why you left that position. You could have left someone 
and people are starting to understand why you left that person and why you don't want to be connected to that person is because they played a lot of mind games. They juggled the relationship, whatever this was, okay? So you decided to take your love somewhere else, your commitment somewhere else, your loyalty somewhere else because someone had too many secrets, had ulterior motives, was not doing a good job, staying committed or doing what they needed to do in their end of the contract. So you moved on with your life. Now they have clarity that you're not their enemy. Someone may have thought that maybe you did something to get them sick. You put a curse on them, something of their nature. You did something with their mental, manipulated them, whatever it is. But they have clarity now and they know they cannot have no new beginnings with you. They cannot come in and cause you any type of mental conflict, illusions or things like that. You are just A-OK. -okay. You're moving on with your life. As I said, you have no animosity. You should never have animosity for anyone, good or bad. Be forward moving, forgive and move forward so you don't block any of your blessings. Whoever this is from your past is living in sorrows but wearing a mask, hiding, right? Not wanting the people not wanting people to know that they're hurting. And again, this does not have to be someone that you dated. This could just be someone you had some type of genuine connection with, maybe a friendship, something of that nature. But someone is in sorrows right now. This is our sorrows, sorrows, sorrows car on my platform. When you see this car, it means that someone is going through some type of loss. It could be financial. It could be romantic. It could just be connections, things like that. Someone is going through some type of loss. So whoever this is from the past is going through remorse right now because they know you two will not be connecting okay um and that is quite it okay that you're moving on someone who have betrayed you heavily this is why you are moving on you're choosing to move forward i don't see the point of moving backwards in life it's have been there done that why do i want to do it again why would you want to put dirty clothes on when you already took them off to wash them okay absolutely don't do that be forward moving Someone may want to have closure with you as well, bring something to your attention. Yeah, you two are not moving forward. You two are not moving forward. They may want to come towards you. Let's say like this is an ex, for example. They may want to come towards you so you two can mend things, but someone knows it's going to be absolutely difficult for you two to go to calmer waters. Well, just to seal onto calmer waters because of actions this person took. Someone betrayed you heavily, right? Without having all of the information they needed to have about a situation. Let's say someone told this person, God forbid, you like you cheated or you did something to them. Instead of them coming to you and asking you, trying to figure things out, this person took some type of impulsive action to possibly collaborate with a group of people to get you to lose something, either to lose a job, to lose a home, lose your stability, something of that nature. But things are being clarified to this person that you didn't do anything to harm them. You were not their enemy. You didn't interfere with their life or anything like that. And now they want to come back towards you. But you've already closed this chapter. You're moving forward. They cannot come towards you. It's going to be too much of a burden to work things out with you because you're not going to be able to see this person in a different light, in a new light, a positive light, because all you're going to remember are all of the ill actions this person took against you in the past. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you are aware of what this person was doing in the past, but you didn't say anything. So which also led them to believe that you didn't know what they were doing behind the scenes. But someone had a hand in causing you some type of loss and now they want to come back and restore things, but it's not going to be happening, right? That chapter is all dead and gone, it's finished. You've already, yeah, you've already learned the lessons. You and this person are not having a new beginning. They cannot come in and give you any type of opportunity. This person has been working with people behind the scenes to block your forward movement, block your livelihood, block your stability, have you living in poverty and things like that. This is what they've been up to, right? And now they want to come in and say, oh, I'm so sorry. I know I was blocking opportunities for you. And you know, I just want us to start over fresh, brand new. And you're like, nah, I'm going to be moving alone. You know, source is already giving me an opportunity that is mine. The horizon is endless opportunities for me, has endless opportunities for me. 
I'm trusting source to look out for me and provide for me. So I don't really want to collaborate with you. I don't want to work with you. I don't have any type of hate or animosity towards you. I just don't feel like you two, you and I need to be together. And this could be for, from you to a couple of people or a group of people or an institution from your past. You don't want to work with these people because you've seen them for who they are. You know the truth, right? They may be wearing a mask. But the mask fell off a long time ago for you when you, when you so when you see them or you see are the demons behind those masks, right? You're not able to fake a smile with them anymore. You're not able to just pretend like what happened didn't happen. You know, like it's those it's like those witches, you know, that in the movies, uh at midnight they transform into their weird and uh, uh creepy looking selves. But then during the uh, daytime, they're all normal looking and stuff like that. But you've already seen them at one night transforming into these ridiculous looking creatures. And then, you know, they come the next day and they're all in their human form talking about, Hi, Maria. Hi, Daisy. And you're just like, uh-uh, I got to get away from you. My name is not Daisy. You don't know me. I don't know you. You don't know my name. Okay? I'm going home to my mom. Exactly. Wearing a mask. Trying to stay calm. Trying to pretend like they're this. But this is really them. Black as can be. Dark as can be. Honey, it was not accidental that the deck split right on those two. But you've already seen these people for who they are. Absolutely. You're going to be receiving some type of brand new opportunity. Um, and it's going to be prosperous for you. And this is in work. You are the queen of source. You decided to take a new path, right? People who have been trying to block one thing for you, but something better was given to you or something is going to be given to you in divine timing and you will be successful at it. So you may not receive something now, but you're going to receive it when you're supposed to. Okay. And you will have victory. I'm telling you, you will have victory. It's like, it's just crazy what people will commit themselves to. This is possibly someone that you have a really genuine connection with. You may have loved this person for some of you where this was a romantic situation or if it was a friendship, you genuinely cared about someone. But someone was full of a lot of hate for you. Someone was filled with a lot of jealousy. It's like they were in competition with you when they didn't realize you weren't competing with them. You were genuinely supporting someone's elevation, but they were in competition with you because this is someone that's not healed, right? Uh, so now they want to heal this connection with you, but you're just like, um, there's really nothing to heal. I've kind of moved on. I don't even see the point of you contacting me. I don't see the point of you calling me, texting me, emailing me, nothing. I will prefer for you to kind of delete my contact and move on or uh, something like that. Um, but yeah, someone is holding on to the past, living in the past, and the past is just not returning because nothing really happens the same twice in life. You see these two fingers, one is shorter and one is longer, one is a little bigger than the other, and this, nothing happens the same twice in creation, okay? That's why we are unique. That's what makes us unique, okay? So this person is going to have to move on. Now that they have clarity about the situation, we're glad that they are considering, you know, reconciling with us, but we forgiving you. We want you to move on and heal, have a brand new opportunity at life. We hope that you manifest the life that you deserve, however way or whatever source decides, decides that you deserve. We hope you have that and you are fulfilled. Anyways, as for our collective, absolutely, they have a brand new beginning in life where they will be living a fulfilling life, will be living in their truth and their authenticity. You can expect to receive some type of good news that, that is in regards to work. You have perfected some type of craft and someone admires that someone knows the truth about you. So they may be sending you some type of message, positive message about wanting to work with you, wanting to expand with you and things like that because they know you're someone that's genuine and care about what you're doing. There could be someone in a position that does not care about what they're doing or oh, and this is going to be taken from them and given to you or you're just having some type of brand new passionate beginning in life, right? New opportunities, new friends, new places, new business, new homes, everything new. They say you're about to have a whole new life, okay? And we we love this for you, collective, absolutely beautiful. Something is, for some of you, something could be being looked over. You may have had some type of opportunity that was meant for you in, in work and someone stole it. 
and it's going to be taken from them and giving back to you if you want that position but there is some type of change that, that's coming in really quickly for you and this is something that you've been awaiting for a while you're like source you keep telling me this blessing is coming in where is it there's a meeting going on in regards to you something is being fixed okay something is being balanced out but you've been asking source but hey source yeah you told me to be patient you said that i should trust you and your promises and i've done that where is my where, where, where is my blessing where are my blessings and sources that like, hold tight child hold tight i got you okay i don't lie i don't tell lies i don't make false promises i got you this is what's ahead of you okay if someone wants to recover a family situation with you but you're moving on right they want to send you some type of news but you're moving on this x is like they're very much determined to be in the picture but they cannot be in the picture we've already clarified that there will be no new beginning for the two of you you're moving on someone is not getting that you are moving someone is under some type of delusion that they can come in to start over brand new with you they want to meet with you send, send you some type of message they could be sending you some type of message and you're not getting the message that like you've moved on for some of you, this is someone you haven't talked to in maybe five years, 10 years, six years, whatever it is. They're emailing you, calling you, texting you. The number you've dialed is no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. Okay? But someone wants to recover a family situation. Is that... Oh, I'm so sorry I neglected our family. I should have been a little bit more stronger than what I was. I betrayed our family. We had a beautiful thing going. I am so sorry. And you're just like, oh, okay. I'm glad that you realize that now. And you are worried that I'm going to be moving on to someone else or whatever it is. I have this new beginning coming towards me. You can't do anything anymore to block it. So you want to come in and attach yourself to me. But uh, I'm moving on. Okay. Someone in here is burdened about you receiving some type of mail. This has to do also with some type of institution. There are people within a group that do not want you receiving some type of message. So they've been interfering to block this message. It could be some type of mail, email, something of that nature. They have been working over time to block it, but they can't block it anymore. It's coming in. Okay, it's coming in. They cannot block this offer. You will not be staying in some deplorable situation it's in poverty. That's all over. It's all over. Okay? It's over. People wanted to keep you stuck in some type of situation. They cannot keep you stuck in there because the Most High has decided it is time for you to move on to bigger and better things. People are intimidated by you as well. Look, look at this. People are intimidated by you. They're watching you. Does she know that we know who is this person? Why Why is she or he this confident in, them, in themselves? Okay? How can this person be good looking and be smart, wise, and spiritually gifted? Who the heck is this? Why is the Most High showing them favor? It's like, oh, uh, yeah, that's because the Most High loves me. I do things from my heart. I'm pure hearted. I am a star seed. That's what you're saying, collective, right? Someone, there could be a couple or a family trying to steal something from you, Queen of Wands. It's not going to be happening. You are protected. This is one of their last effort, desperate efforts to end you, but it's not going to be working. These people are under some type of misconception that they're going to have victory over you. But victory is the lowers. I'm telling you. They're not going to be having any type of victory over you. They're not moving on to karma waters. They will not be coming towards you. Whoever this ex is, it's not coming towards you to heal anything. They cannot. They're being kept out of your energy. These people are being kept out of your energy. Okay? Someone wanted to take some type of impulsive action to come towards you, to cause you some type of loss, to do you something. They cannot. Someone needs to go on and heal, but they're refusing to heal. Okay, someone could have something that's not curable. This is karma for them. Someone may have, I don't know if they were trying to steal someone from you. So they may have slept with someone 
to, I don't know, spite you or something. And it turned out it ended up with something they cannot get rid of. So talk about karma. Talk about karma. Mm, 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 mm. Someone could be trying to get away from their karma, but they cannot. It's absolutely going to be served by them in full. Okay, let's call judgment on that. You will serve your karma, each and every one of you in full. You will not be running from your karma. Oh, that is judge. Listen, I said judgment, and the judgment card is at the bottom. So, yes, this is judgment. You all will be serving your karma. Hot, cold, however way you want it. Do you like your pie hot? Do you like your pie cold? You let the universe know. Let Sister Mayat know which one you like, and she will have it ready for you. That decision has already been made. Everyone must serve their karma, okay? As dedicated as you are were in defeating, wanting to defeat these star beings, these light beings, these star seeds, indigo children, crystal children, this is how dedicated Mayat is. It, it is. This is how dedicated Maya is in making sure that you are serve your karma and you will. You are. Some of you are going through endings right now and you're trying to hide it. Let's see how long you can hide it. You just experience the first thing and you think it's over. It's not over. There's more to come. Just rest assured. You hold. Whoo! Strap in your sepia, folks. It's about to be a bumpy ride. Put your seatbelts on. It's about to say it's about to be a bumpy ride and the chariot shows up. It is absolutely about to be a bumpy ride for you all while this person you are trying to destroy is moving on the karma waters. Mm -mm. This ex here, whoever this is, and those people, is not looking good. There is no recovery. There's no reconciliation. There's no working things out. You two are not pushing forward, moving forward together, nothing. They may want you to relocate with them. Do not relocate with anyone from your past. It's a setup. They wanted to, someone wanted to take some type of action to come towards you. And so I was like, I think not. Sit your behind down. Sit down. Sit your behind down. Right there. I'll deal with you in a second. It's amazing how committed people will be to destroy other people. I'm telling you, these people are fighting. I just saw, yeah, the karmics are fighting. I was going to say, I just saw our karmics are fighting car. The karmics are fighting. The karmics are falling. And they can't get up. They won't be getting up. This is what they didn't see coming. Some of these people were warned. That's the thing. They were warned. When they were taking, before they took the action, while they were taking actions, they were warned not to do it and they still went for it. They felt invincible. They had a group, they had an institution backing them up. And they said, we're going for it. Who are you to tell us what we can and cannot do? Okay. Someone was not practical about the situation. They didn't listen to their higher judgment. And now they cannot come towards you to gaslight you, pretend like they're in love with you, give you some type of immature love offer. The Knight of Cups never gives me any good vibes. I know it can be a friendship cup. Like we just, we can just start off slow. We can just start off small in friendship and then things will get better. Hopefully we'll, you know, grow to admire and care for each other. Blah, 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 blah. It's blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is when someone knows that they've effed up royally, so they come in with a little small friendship. Here's a token of my gratitude for all that we put you through and you stayed the course and did not come to destroy us. You said, oh, you thought it was over? Nah, the battle is over, but the war has just begun. I don't know who told, that told you. I don't know who told you that um, there were going to be no consequences for your actions, but yeah. Strap in your seatbelt, folks. Though it's about to be a bumpy ride. It's about to be a bumpy ride for a lot of these karmics. They said, "Oh, you thought you were trying, you were going to try to have me on a live, and we were just going to sail onto karma waters because you didn't succeed, and I was just going to act like, oh, it never happened. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, interesting. 
interesting way of thinking. Your mind, your way of thinking is very interesting. Your mind is not as complex as I thought it would be. But then again, you are karmic. What was I expecting? I thought you were sophisticated. You all said we were the dumb ones. We, the star seeds, were the dumb ones because dumb ones because we're the love and light people. We have a connection with source. Uh, blah 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 blah. That's what you all were saying. And our karma is here. And you want us to just pretend like you didn't try to have us on a live because of finances. You didn't try to destroy us. You just want us to sail onto karma waters. We are best friends forever. You're my bosom friend, like Anne Boleyn says. My bosom friend. Child, please. Nah. It's consequences for everything you're doing, like whether it's natural or get treated. There's consequences for everything. Okay? For some of you, these people want you to work with them now, now that they know they cannot destroy you, cannot steal from you, cannot block your forward movement. Now they want you they want you on their team. And it's a no-go. It's a no-go. The universe is like, nah, <laughs> that's not part of my plan for this person. But cute, 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 though. That's real cute. You all really think you run this creation that I made. I made the planets the universe and everything, and you all think that you are in charge because I, I'm hands off. I'm a hands off parent. Okay, I'm about to show you that I'm still here and I see everything. Everything is being recorded and sent to me, so keep it up. Keep it up, folks. There could have been a queen of swords advising someone, hey, don't partake with this nonsense with these people. It's not going to end in your favor. Did, did, did the king of pentacles listen? Absolutely not. He thought he was doing the right thing. And now you don't want, I'm telling you, you don't want to be with this person. You don't want anything to do with them. Do you see how this person is that backing away from this offer? They said, uh-uh, I'm good, I'm good. You know, when I wanted that offer... You said I wasn't worthy. You didn't think I was worthy. I was not of your caliber, not on your level, whatever it is. You go ahead and keep that. You know, I'm going to stay on my level. Thank you for that marvelous introduction that you gave me initially. I'm going to stick to that introduction of yourself. You already showed me who you are. I am going to keep that image of you. Okay, there are no reintroductions. Okay, so thank you, darling for that marvelous introduction. Someone trapped themselves. I just saw the Eight of Swords. Someone trapped themselves with these crazy people. Someone trapped themselves. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, someone trapped themselves. Yeah, you're keeping your distance from this person. You said, nah, I'm focused on work right now. I'm focused on my family. I'm focused on my pentacles. You know, staying grounded and healing. You stay you stay over there. I don't know where you want to go, but don't come over here. Okay? Someone is exposed. This king of pentacles is exposed. He may have thought that maybe you didn't know he was partaking in something or he had some type of ill intent for you that he was going to come in to give you some type of immature offer. Maybe he thought you didn't know. But like the freaking hanging man with your crown illuminated and protected, he said, absolutely not, sir. I am removing myself from this situation, and I'm going to let you dig a hole for yourself. And you are going to see how this is going to play out. I'm not going to say a thing to you. I'm going to keep showing up and letting you keep digging this hole for yourself. I'm going to sit back and watch each and every one of you. Collective, you people are too smart. You are too smart. And this was judgment. For you to stay quiet and keep it pushing. Keep pushing forward. This was judgment. They didn't know they were already under judgment when they were taking action. Yeah. Tower. This is a big reveal. These people didn't know they were already under judgment when they were taking actions against you. 
It's a tower. It's a tower. The karmics are falling. The karmics are fighting. What can we expect? What's new? Okay. Now someone wants to recover their family. Now they know that how they know how important family is. Now they heal and they want you and them to get back together. They miss you and the kids. Blah 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 blah. So they miss us with the BS. We are getting as far away from you all as possible. Okay. This King of Pentacles is not even healed. But he wants to come in and pretend to be healed. Like, <sighs> healing is so hard. This is them practicing the line. They're going to come tell you, by the way. <sighs> oh, healing is so difficult. It took me forever. I used to have people betraying me and doing this and doing that to me. And I had to go deep within and see that I had to distance myself. Meanwhile, the per people he's talking about distancing himself from are right there in his phone. He just had a conversation with one of them 30 seconds ago before he came to sit across from you to give you a whole speech. Lord, the karmics be karmic king. Mm, mm, mm. It's never boring in Karmicville. I'm telling you, it's never boring in Karmicville. Someone now knows that you're innocent. They tried to destroy an innocent person. This star car has been coming out in the reverse for quite a lot now. This is the third reading that I've done, and this star car has been coming out in the reverse. This is letting me know that one, someone's innocence has been proven that you didn't do anything to anyone, you didn't partake in some type of scheme, and two, there's a queen of pentacles who's been seen for who she is. She's not a healer. She's not gifted. There's something about her. She's not creative. She doesn't have a direct connection with source that's solid, that is of that is in good standing. This person is shaky shaky. Okay? But that star card has been coming out in the reverse for three reads now, and it's alarming. Something has been revealed about someone's character. They're not a healer. Maybe she expected to receive some type of offer from someone that belongs to you and they're not receiving that because they're they're exposed. I'm telling you, this woman is exposed. This is someone karmic with material motives going through her ending and she's toxic. This is someone toxic as heck. This woman is going through her ending. Trying to trap someone with her. She's immature as can be. Her motive is finances, keeping someone trapped to her, gaslighting someone. She and this King of Pentacles might as well get together because they're good at gaslighting and pretending to be something they're not. This woman is karmic. Do you see how she came out and everything crazy just follow? She's not a healer. She's karmic. She's toxic as heck. Probably has a lot of additions, whether it's drinking, smoking, SES, whatever else, going through some type of ending. And this was divinely orchestrated to happen, right? She's going through some type of dark night of the soul. Some type of secret is being revealed about her and she's trapped. She's mentally trapped. For some of you, she could have some type of legal issues coming in. And this is because of all the actions she took. She gathered around all of her minions. Hey! This is the plan for today. Today is the day we take this star seed down and we get what belongs to her. We get what belongs to us, or I mean her. Same thing, tomato, tomato. This is her. This is what this woman was, was doing. It is best for me to have this abundance because I know what to do with it. I already know all the people in this company, in this building, in this house. They know me. Yeah, they know you. They don't want to work with you, but they're stuck with you. I already know this man. 
like the back of my hand so we two do deserve to be together this is a long lasting connection and, I, and that man is looking at her like girl i'm trying to get away from you you are toxic as can be the very first chance that i get to get away from you you best believe i am going to be on the run running as fast as i can and you won't be able to catch me because i'm the gingerbread man mm -mm -mm. forrest is about to be sprinting for his life Mm, and she knows. She knows he's leaving. He knows he's leaving. Everybody knows he's leaving. He's done. If this has to do with a marriage, uh, that brother is done. He's moving forward. He is done. This could be someone that goes to practitioners. This is how she's been able to keep a hold of a masculine for all these years. Because there's nothing really attractive about her naturally as far as qualities. I don't care about the physical aspect. I'm not here to talk about anyone's beauty. The, the characteristics, there's nothing beautiful about her. And everything is being illuminated to him. And he said, what the heck? What have I been under all these years? You've been under spell work, sir. You've been under spell work, sir. Yeah. Spell work. You've been under spell work, sir. Someone has been killing you softly, slowly. One drop at a time. You will stay in love with me. Poop. You will not have interest in any other woman. Poop. You will go to work and work a nine to five. Poop. You will come home and wash the dishes. Poop. You will clean the house, poop. You will cook, poop. Give the kids your bath and showers, poop. Drive the kids to work, to school before you go to work, poop. It's a lot of poop, 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 poop. 20 years, 23 years, 15 years, 10 years, 40 years. It's been a lot of poop, 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 going on for some of you masculines and you don't even know. But the spell work has worn off. And now she don't know what to do. Sis don't have the necessary skills, characteristics, personalities, or qualities to keep a man naturally. So it's just like, oh, that's you? Damn. You mean I lost 23 years with you? I lost 20 years with you? This is you. Mm -mm -mm. He thought he had a first lady. But she's second, third, fourth, fifth to everybody else. And she forgets to be a first lady to him. The karmics are fighting. The karmics are falling. They can't get up. Mm, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This queen of pentacles here. And just about every read she's popping up in, she's paying someone to do something. Paying a practitioner to do something to her lover or her lover's interest. This woman is malicious. This woman is malicious. She may have told people that you were karmic on heel. You were done for. You had ulterior motives. You were toxic as heck. But the truth is being revealed. You're not. You're the truth. And it's causing some type of chaos behind the scenes. That she wants to keep moving forward to causing you trouble, conflict, and her people don't want no parts of it anymore. They're walking away. They're like, we're done with this. Grow up. Let it go. You can't have what belongs to this person. Let it go. He's done with you. Let it go. Go heal. She doesn't want to. She's unhealed. Does not want to heal because this is someone extremely karmic and toxic. She's been like that for so many years. That's all that sister knows is to be karmic as can be. I'm being told she wants to look like she has this, but she's not willing to do the work. She breadcrumbs people. Her lovers, friends, family, it doesn't matter. As long as she's benefiting from the situation, that's all she cares about. Right? That's all she cares about. Her life is not in balance, but she wants to cause chaos in other people's lives. 
because she wants to make sure that she's still secure and she doesn't care how she secures whatever it is that she wants. Whether it's a person, place, or thing, you best believe she's going to take any action that she needs to take. Whether it's to have you out of here, have something happen to you, she don't care. This woman is cold-hearted. This is someone cold-hearted. It's just like someone pretending to be an ideal queen of pentacles, wife material, mother material, businesswoman, business-minded. And people see the truth that, oh, you're the complete opposite. But she's still trying to pretend like she's the truth. And people are saying that, well, the real queen pentacles, queen of pentacles, please stand up. And you're not even around because you don't have time to be going through this nonsense. So she's the only one there to stand up. And people are looking around like, I know this B-I-T-C-H, they just stand up. Now she knows that we know. That she knows that we know. That she knows that we know. This ain't what she think it is. That we already know who you are. I mean, will you sit down? They're probably telling her to sit down. Like, hey, Karen, this is not your line. This is not your part. You have to sit down, okay? Karen is embarrassed. Karen said, well, you said with the real queen of pentacles stand up. So I still always said, that's why we're telling you to sit down. You're not the real queen of pentacles. She's not even here. What are you doing, Karen? This is embarrassing. Okay, you have to let this go. It's time to let it go, okay, Karen? You got to move on. It's time. <laughs> And Karen is desperately trying to hold on. Yeah, Karen is over for you. You can't fool people anymore. You're not coming into on a live any star seeds, light beans. Be, uh -uh. You're not blocking their forward movement. You're going through an ending. You keep paying for someone to be on a live, for someone to be destroyed, and the Most High keeps telling you it's not happening. They've told you numerous times, Karen. It's not happening. You need to move on. I don't know why you're so stern on defeating someone and they're not even in competition with you. You know why they're not competing with you? Because what belongs to them is already theirs. It's already destined by the Most High. Is that I've already secured this person in this position. I've already secured this person in this masculine's life. What I decide as the creator is what's going to be. And you're delusional enough to believe that you can change fit. No one can change fit. Not even star seas. No one can change destiny. It's called destiny for a reason. It's already set in stone to happen. You're wasting your time and everybody else's time. Stop making false promises to people. If this has to do with a position, you best believe Karen is telling people, once I get this position, I'm going to make you the vice president. Once I make this position, I'm going to give you 5% of the uh, revenue yearly or monthly. She's making ridiculous promises to these people. And some of them are still falling for it. It's like it's been two years now, Karen, and you're still making these promises. Some people are waking up and like, uh-uh, she ain't getting that. She's not getting that. What Karen is having is bag under her eyes, sleepless nights, anxiety. That's what Karen is getting. Meanwhile, Collective, you're headed for victory. Um, Empress, <laughs> you see that right there, honey? You're headed for victory. Your abundance is protected, is ensured to you. And the whole time, this has been you. Staying calm, collect, not showing an emotion to these people. Acting like you don't even know what they're doing. Mm -mm -mm. You've teamed the beast within and they're fighting. Did you see that? Did you? Did, I'm going to do it this way. One second, please. One second, folks. This is you. This is your enemies. Fighting, chaos. What does this say? Let, let's see the difference between you and your enemies. For them, clash of ambitions, chaos, competition for promotions, 
disputes, envy from others, lack of unity, no team spirit. Let's see you, you by yourself, right? <clears throat> Kindness, compassion, ego strength, triumph of love over hate, harmony, vision, okay? Fortitude, courage, power. You see the difference between your enemies and you? Okay. These people are fighting. This card has appeared quite a few times. These people are fighting because your pathway is still clear. You are protected by source. So there's really nothing they can do to cause you an ending. You are secure. Your pathway is illuminated. The truth is illuminated about these people. Why they're actually fighting. Why they're walking around with their faces all down, pretending like they're okay, but people can tell they're not okay. Your pathway is clear. Victory is yours. This is you, dear. Strong and mighty. Powerful as can be. Okay? Telling you, strong and mighty. Powerful. Protected. Innovative. You're still moving forward. Still moving forward. Bringing balance into your life. By the help and guidance of the of the Most High, you're juggling a lot, but still triumphing over your enemies. Growth, acceleration, moving forward. These people were trying to restrict you, but they cannot. They cannot restrict you. I'm telling you, success, business, love, success. You're gonna have success. Success. And this is still going over bravery, warrior, ambition. You are going to be successful. Okay? Successful. No one's coming in to breadcrumb you. You're not here for breadcrumbing. You're going to receive what's yours. Someone thought they could come in and breadcrumb you. is a disappointment. They cannot. They're trapped. They're stuck in something they cannot get out of because someone let greed lead them. And this is you abundant as heck. We're coming with offers coming in, solid offer. People want to give you solid offer. You have positive news. Listen, we can keep going. These people here, they're on the right track to disappointment. I'm telling you, honey, to disappointment. It doesn't matter what they do. It's not going to be working for them. It's that you are the complete opposite you are mirroring the complete opposite of what these people are going through they're going through endings and you are going through triumph elevation prosperity you're, you're not interested in the past you're not interested in anyone that had anything to do with this situation they know the game is over they're going back to the drawing board hey that plan we came up with the last time, we thought it was bright. I think we could have done better. Let's gather back around the dark table. Linda, do you have any suggestions today? What about you, Kelly? What about you, Gina? What, what about you, Kathy? Any suggestions on what we can do? Maria, Elizabeth, any suggestions from you all? on how we can move forward and destroy this person once and for all. And Judas is in there like, listen, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. It's that either way, whatever, whatever we do, this person is still going to be elevating, okay? So I think we should just call it, cut our losses and move on. They're having a meeting. These people are having a meeting. They have a whole lot of meetings. Someone is unhappy in this meeting because things are not going in their favor. Things are going in the collective's favor. It's like, I've done everything to destroy this person forwards movement. How can I not destroy one person? I've destroyed many other people before. I've destroyed many lives, many careers. Many opportunities. 
many destinies i destroy so many why can i not destroy this person and you know why you cannot because that was the most high letting you get comfortable to make you think you were powerful it's like you know what i'm gonna sit back and i'm gonna let him or her do whatever they want go ahead destroy the lives of these people there's going to be one person that I'm going to bring. You will not be able to destroy. And you're going to do the exact same thing you've done to all of these people, to that person. You still won't be able to destroy them. They're going to be a lesson to you. So, Karen, that's why you can destroy our star C because they're meant to be a lesson for you. They're meant to humble you. Humble thyself before the star and it may forgive you. Hey, humble thyself. Before the star, he or she may forgive. All you have to do, Karen, is humble thyself before the star, and it may forgive you. You see that bright star right there? You better go under that star and go pray and ask for forgiveness. I'm telling you, ask for forgiveness, Karen. Maybe your name is Linda. You're supposed to be asking for forgiveness, but you're over here hiding, trying to act like you're minding your business. You have nothing to do with the situation, Linda. Karen, I said, Linda, 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 we know you were orchestrating all of this from behind the scenes. So you can sit there and act like you don't know what's going on, but we just want you to know that we have a recording of you we have you on video we have your letters and things like that emails and text messages from you telling people to do this and do that you know you were the commander in chief of this operations so we don't know why you're pretending like you don't know nothing about the situation linda 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 listen linda linda listen okay listen linda there is going to be no pretending anymore. You got to live in your truth, Linda. Okay? Linda, Linda, no more illusions, Linda. <laughs> Linda is being forced to see things from a higher perspective. Linda's crown is being exposed. They say, hey, Linda, we know what you've been doing. <gasps> Linda's crown is exposed. Could be someone in here named Linda. It could be someone named Karen because the name keep coming up quite a bit. Oh Lord, someone is exposed. Someone, someone blocked their forward movement basically. It's like they thought they were causing you an ending, but really what they were doing is ensuring an ending not just for themselves, but everyone else. It's like it's just one person. We're gonna hide this letter they're supposed to receive about their inheritance yeah we want to hide listen lord i love my ancestors it's like they're always on beat with everything most of the time i'm not even looking down here and i'll look down and see what's at the bottom of this deck and they're just confirming what i'm saying we're going to hide the letter you know the hermit is a scribe the scribing has to do with writing letters and things like that so we're going to hide this letter that they're supposed to receive about their inheritance, about this position, this business. And we're going to pretend like we don't know what they're talking about. If they ask any questions, you'll be like, what, kind, what letter are you talking about? I don't know anything about a letter. And they're like, oh, really? We want you to remember those very lines that you just said. We want you to remember. <laughs> we want you to remember, Linda. You say you don't remember. Okay? Keep that same energy. Just wait just a little bit longer. We're going to need you to answer that question again in a little bit. Let's see if you want to respond the same way. Okay, Linda? Two months later. Linda? Linda? Now, about this letter. Where is the letter? Oh, well, we buried the letter. Oh, well, the last time we asked you about this letter, you said you didn't know about it. What changed today? Mm. <laughs> That's because Linda thought if she took action, she was going to be successful. But Linda was told to walk away. 
Hopefully, Linda will listen and walk away because, Linda, you're headed for disaster. It's a disaster ahead of you, okay? You need to go on and heal there. Some There's a feminine energy that needs to heal, but she's refusing to. Someone is very superficial, very entitled, has some type of superiority complex that's not fitting. This is not even someone that should be having this kind of mindset because they're so low vibrational. But they're, they, they have some type of mental issue is how we're going to simplify that. That's why Linda thinks she's better than other people. That's why Linda thinks... She's better than our star C. That's why Linda looks down on our star C because Linda has a clouded judgment. Linda is delusional. And Linda's delusion has been supported by the people around her for many years. This is why they can no longer tell Linda the truth about herself because it's going to be like, uh, for 40 years, you all have been letting me do what I want and believe what I want. So why would you tell me any different now? Nah. I am the queen of the world. And then Linda steps outside and says, uh, hey, have a come here. We need you to move your car. And Linda is looking around like, I need someone to move my car for me. And say, who the heifer, who does she, who does this heifer think she is? We need you to move this car or we're going to tow it, put a ticket on there. You have about five minutes to move it. And then Linda has to climb in her car because all of her friends have developed some type of common sense and moved on. Linda is not used to driving herself. Linda is used to misusing people, draining people energy. I need you to go and get my coffee. I need you to go and get my dry cleaning. It's like you don't have your own legs to go do all of that for yourself. Linda, Linda says she's powerful, but Linda is, is being humble. Linda is finding out that she cannot have everything she wants. What does not belong to Linda is no longer being given to Linda. Source, what is your advice to us? What would you like us to be aware of today? Thank you. We love you. I'm going to start calling the Queen of Pentacles, Linda. I don't... <laughs> Every time I see her now, the name Linda is going to come to my head. There you go, Linda. Linda is out. Anyway, we have 31, which is four. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is staring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. I am disciplined. Absolutely collective. And this is why you are moving forward because you are absolutely disciplined. Uh, disciplined. Not everyone can put an end to this kind of chapter. Sometimes people get stuck in poverty, in a like mindset, feeling discouraged and things like that. But you somehow managed to get yourself out of that and move on. And you see you're by yourself. It's not that you did it by yourself. The Most High was protecting you along the way right helping you along the way but in the physical you did everything by yourself there was no one there to help you you did it by yourself and we commend you for that congratulations darling anyways thank you all for watching stay blessed and i will see you in my next read goodbye for now